Hey, have you ever thought of using hubcap elements in architecture? How about spaceships? You can use hubcap elements in lots of different things and in lots of different ways. Let's go over the three basic hubcap elements. There's the wide arch, the low arch, and the small arch. They can all be used in basically the same thing, but in different ways. So we're going to go over how to use hubcaps in architecture. So here's a basic base. We're going to use a kind of a medieval setting. We're going to have this large wooden door connected by this one by one piece with two out jutting pieces to connect the door. To have a base for the door, you just need just bricks to give a base. You can have a one by one, a one by three, a one by two, you know, whatever works. Here I have two one by threes, right like that. After that, we need to make a structure around the door. We need to make it symmetrical. So here's two one by one pieces, and we're gonna just put them together, put them right there. Next, we need these one by one pieces that are that jut out a little and then just a regular one by one. And we need two of those. So the one by one is essentially going to support the wide arch. And then the one by one with the out jutting piece is going to support an arch that gives structure to the door. Next, you just need to give more structure to the whole building. You can make walls branch out more, you can make it more narrow. I'm just gonna build a structure, but you can do anything you want. It, the possibilities are endless with this. So there's how to build a basic base for the wide arch in architecture. So next, let's look how to use the low arch and the small arch in architecture. So here's a basic base. It starts out with a 1x8, a 1x6, and two 1x1s. You can see them here. And then the 1x1s. So there's the base. After that, you just need to build up from the base. So here's two 1x6s and two 1x2s. You just need to keep building upwards. So. We're gonna have the low arch and the small arch over a window. So we need the window to go over an arch. Next, we need to make a base for the window. We're gonna use these pieces. A one by four flat piece, two one by ones, and two one by fours. We're gonna put the one by ones on top and the one by twos on the bottom. After that, we just need to connect the window, just like that. Next, we need two one by ones to make a base for the hubcap. After that, all we need to do is incorporate the hubcap. There you go. So that's how to use the low arch in architecture. Next, all you have to do is just build on. You can make this more of a wall, you can make it a, a roof of some kind, you can make it a house. So I said we're going to incorporate the small arch and the low arch. So, this is how you do it. All you have to do is switch it out. Fits exactly the same, but has a totally different look. So, I said we'd use hubcaps in spaceships, right? Let's take a look. So we're going to build an engine. This is what we need to start out with. This one by two piece with studs on three sides of it, two one by two flat pieces, and two studs. That's what we need to start out with. We put the one by two flat pieces on the sides of the one by one with three studs on the side and put the red studs on the top. After that, we just put in a two by three flat piece with studs all over it, put it over there, and then add the low arch hubcaps. So there's an engine. After that, you can make another engine, you could just have it alone, you could make 50 other engines, whatever works. After that, you just hook it on to the spaceship. Then you need some supports to make, it sh make sure it stays in place. So there's our basic outline for a spaceship, and there's the engine. You can do lots of different things with hubcaps. 
There's some things that you may not, may not even have thought of, but it's possible. What will you build? Email us your creations at bricks4kids at 3littlemonkeys.com. Thanks.